Good afternoon. My name is Jenny Cook and this is my colleague Jenny Tennant. And your names are? My name is Florine. Thank you. And my name is Maria. Thank you. Can I have your mark sheets, please? Yes, of course. Thank you. Where are you from, Florine? I'm from Holland, from the Netherlands. And you, Maria? Yeah, I'm from Argentina. Well, first we'd like to know something about you. Florine, tell us about a film you really like. I really like the movie Titanic. I actually have seen it last night. <laughs> and um, I like it because it's, uh, the story actually happened. And um, I like the, the love, rela love relationship between the two mm -hmm. main characters. Maria, are you going to do anything special this weekend? Uh, yes, this weekend I'm going with my best friends to the cinema to see a comedy film. Mm -hmm. And Florine, how much television do you watch in a week? Actually quite a lot. <laughs> my mom doesn't always really like it. Uh, but I uh, watch uh, kind of different uh, things. I watch the regular news and also mm -hmm. just like the lazy entertainment programs. and. Uh, also, I watch a lot of movies, mm -hmm. so, yeah, quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Maria, do you ever listen to the radio? Not often, but some Sundays I switch on the radio mm -hmm. to listen music. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In this part of the test, I'm going to give each of you two photographs. I'd like you to talk about your photographs on your own for about a minute and also to answer a question about your partner's photographs. Florine, it's your turn first. Here are your photographs. They show people who are helping other people in different situations. I'd like you to compare the photographs and say how important it is to help people in these situations. All okay. right? Yeah. Uh, I think in the first picture it's um, someone helping a soccer player because he's obviously hurt. Um, and in the second photo, uh, uh, the police officer, officer is helping. I think it must be a tourist because uh, there is a map in the photo. And I think it's really important to help people in those situations because... Um, they're both uh, in. They both needed help, and uh, the f in the first picture, the person is probably in pain, because mostly when you you play uh, a sports, you can get injur injuries. And in the second photo, I think it's also very important that the police officer is willing to help the tourist, because um, it's just. Uh, I think po police officers are. Uh, are there because they are, have to serve the, the people. Thank you. Maria, do you find it easy to ask for help when you have a problem? Mm, it depends what problem I have, because sometimes when you are in different places, you are shy, so you don't ask mm -hmm. to help. Thank you. Can I have a book clip? Please? Yes, of course. Now, Maria, here are your photographs. They show people spending time in different gardens. I'd like you to compare the photographs and say what you think the people are enjoying about spending time in these gardens. Okay, right. I can see in the first picture a woman doing gardening, in maybe in his house. And the second one, I can see in a beautiful park, maybe in near London, and we are spending time with his family. And well, the first one, uh, the girl um, is planting uh, a nice plant, and. Um, I think both are enjoying a lot uh, these hobbies. Mm. 
Thank you. Florine, which garden would you prefer to spend time in? I think I would prefer the garden in the first picture because I think it's her own garden. And I like working in the garden with my mom and dad. So I think I would enjoy spending uh, time in my own garden most. Yeah. Thank you. Can I have the booklet, please? Now, I'd like you to talk about something together for about two minutes. I'd like you to imagine that a town wants more tourists to visit. Mm -hmm. Here are some ideas they're thinking about and a question for you to discuss. First, you have some time to look at the task. Now, talk to each other about why these ideas would attract more tourists to the town. Well, I think all the ideas on the, uh, on the booklet are quite good, actually. I think holiday flats will attract more tourists because there is just more space uh, for the tourists to live in while they're on holiday. And what do you think about that? Mm, well, uh, I agree with you but maybe providing parks is much better. Mm, why do you think that, actually? Mm, because I think to spend time in parks are good with the family. Mm, yeah, I think you have, can have a lot of fun in parks, though. Just having a nice picnic, picnic with your friends or stuff. Yeah, that would be nice. But uh, more shops, yeah, that, I think it would be nice because I think a lot of uh, people, mostly women, like shopping and I think having a lot of shops in your town uh, would, would be nice for uh, the shopaholics. <laughs> yes, or I don't know, maybe the tourists uh, like to spend more time in parks than go shopping, no? Maybe. If you are kind of a nature person, if you like nature a lot, then parks are probably much better than a lot of shops. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. mm, putting up security cameras, yeah, th I think that's a really good idea because then the town is safe and tourists will feel safe. Yes, with the, sec with the cameras are a good idea because uh, the people are more safe mm -hmm. than without cameras yeah. of the people that want to stall. Yeah. Building a no, I don't think building a large nightclub is really a good idea to attract tourists. I don't know. It depends the age of the tourists, no? Yeah, that definitely, but I don't think no. uh, it will attract a lot of tourists because of one club. I think yes. it's a combination of several things mm -hmm. that attract tourists. Thank you. Now you have about a minute to decide which idea would be best for the town. Okay, so what do you think is the uh, best idea for the town to do? Mm, I think building holiday flats, maybe. Mm, yes, why do you think that? Mm, because all the tourists like to have flats to stay. Yeah, but maybe the parks are just uh, is are a better idea to provide because they uh, they're really nice to just uh, have a walk in and enjoy the uh, nature with your friends and family. Mm, yes. So if you like uh, providing parks, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I do think that's a good idea. Yeah, and but also the holiday flats, I think, is a good idea because um, you have to you have to have space for the tourists to live in. So if there's no space, there probably won't be a lot of tourists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Can I have the booklet, please? Thank you. Florine, do you think you have to spend a lot of money to have a good holiday? I don't think you have to spend a lot of money because uh, I think you can also have uh, F F well, you can also uh, have a good holiday when you're with just your friends or people you like to spend time with. And I don't think that should be in a nice fancy hotel or something where you have to spend a lot of money. Just, 
you have to be with people you like and enjoy being with. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Maria? Well, it depends uh, which place you want to go. Because maybe if you want to go to a nice, an island, you, I think you are going to spend a lot of money mm -hmm. than if you go to a campsite mm -hmm. with friends. Mm -hmm. Maria, some people say we travel too much these days and shouldn't go on so many holidays. What do you think? Mm, yes, I think now, nowadays, a lot of people uh, travel more than a few years ago because I think the, the world is increasing, so the people like to travel. Mm -hmm. Do you agree, Florine? I think we travel a lot these days, but I think uh, that's also because every, everybody has got a lot uh, more money to spend. So I think uh, they spend it on traveling because they want to see a lot of the world. Mm. So. Florine, do you think people have enough time for holidays these days? Mm, no, I don't think so. I, th I think if you're uh, in school, like I am, uh, you've got a lot of long breaks, especially the summer break uh, is a long break. But I think when you're done with school and you have to start your uh, professional life, then uh, there's, there isn't a lot of time for holidays. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And you, Maria? Yes, I agree with Florine. Um, but some people work not a lot, so maybe can take more holidays than other people. Mm -hmm. Why do you think people like to go away on holiday? Well, I think because they um, would like to see a lot of different parts of the world so they can just like develop their knowledge of it. Yes, and it's a good idea to spend time doing this uh, traveling mm. around the world. Yeah, I think it's a good idea mm. as well. What do you think is the biggest advantage of living in a place where there are a lot of tourists? I actually don't really think that there are a lot of advantages. Do you think that? No. <laughs> because maybe the city or the town is going to be so crowded, mm. so you can uh, do a lot of activities mm. because all the places are full. Yeah, I think it's mostly uh, uh, the only big advantage is that you get a lot of money from the tourists, so it's good for the local economy. But the economy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think for the city uh, itself it's a big advantage to have a lot of uh, foreign people. So, yeah. And what can people do to have a good holiday in Holland? I think they should go to Amsterdam <laughs> because uh, it's the, uh, the main city of, of the Netherlands. And I think they um, can spend a lot of uh, time in uh, the nature that we have got mostly in the north of the Netherlands. It's pretty, it's very pretty. And I think, yeah, most cities are pretty nice to visit because everyone is, everyone is really nice. Um, yeah, and they're willing to help you if uh, you need something. And in Argentina? Um, well, in Argentina, if you like to do some nature activities, you can go to the Iguazu Falls. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in the south, you can do sports in the snow, such as skiing, snowboard, or walking with friends. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That is the end of the test. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you.